Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about anxiety getting worse and why that's actually a good thing. Now that might sound quite strange and you might think well how can it getting worse be good? Well it actually means that you're closer to fixing it than you think. If you've ever had therapy and it's got worse I'm also going to tell you why you mustn't blame your therapist if your problem gets worse after a session so let me explain. My name's Paul and I work online with people all over the world to help them overcome their fear of driving and it doesn't matter whether driving is what causes your anxiety or not because as I've said many times before the cause of your problem is only the trigger so driving anxiety is a symptom of another problem fear of flying is a symptom of another problem you never work directly on the problem itself because the problem isn't the problem your anxiety is actually caused, in most cases, by some kind of trapped feeling. It's from a past event, something that you never processed properly at the time, and that repressed emotion has been trapped, and now it's coming out as anxiety. And this is why, when the problem gets worse, it's actually better for you. And you're probably still thinking, what are you on about? How can it be better when it's getting worse? Well, think about it. Your mind is sending you a message when it gives you anxiety. This trapped feeling that you have, or if it's not that, it can be simply a collection of thoughts that are illogical. So for example, I won't go into this in full detail now, this is for another video, but people say things like, I love driving, but I hate it. Well that doesn't make sense, that you can't love it and hate it, and you get caught in this loop, and that's where the anxiety can come from as well, because you're simply stuck being bounced around in this loop, bounced from one wall to another, and you can't work out what you actually want. Whatever the cause, you need to understand that when it gets worse, that's because your mind is amplifying the problem. So you see, your mind is sending you a clearer message. It's saying, look, you're not listening to me. You're not quite getting it. So it makes the message stronger. Now, for you consciously, that can feel terrible because your anxiety gets worse. But all it is, is your subconscious mind wants you to get help. So it's saying, look, you're not getting it, so I'm going to make it worse. And I'm going to shout and shout and shout. Think about it a bit like this. Imagine if you only speak English. And every day, you're getting annoyed because somebody keeps standing outside your house. And they're shouting something in German. And you just don't know what they're saying. And they keep shouting it louder and louder and louder. And then one day just by chance you find out that the reason they're shouting is because let's just say you're parking your car a bit incorrectly and they can't get their door open to get in their car. Now if you understood German you would have understood they were shouting at you why do you keep parking your car so close to mine? <laughs> but because you didn't speak the language you didn't understand it. Well you see it's the same for therapy. If you don't know how the subconscious mind works and you're not used to speaking to it as I am, it can be weird and you just don't understand it. But I understand what this stuff means. I can't tell you what it means directly. I can't say, oh, well, your problem is this and this and this. You always find the solution, not me. You have the problem, you made it, and you've got the solution. But I understand how the mind works and how to help you find what it's actually saying. So if you go for therapy and afterwards your problem gets worse, people say, I thought you were going to help me and now it's worse. Well, I understand it could be alarming, but there are two things you must understand from this. First of all, if your problem gets worse, that means you've changed it, right? Well, isn't that what you wanted? You wanted to change your problem. Now, yes, I know you say, well, I didn't want to change it like that, but that shows that you have control over it because you've done something that changed it you've changed the outcome something is happening differently now to before so you see if it gets worse i know i understand completely people say well i don't need to get worse i feel worse than ever but you need to understand that's actually making you closer to solving it because the message it's giving you is getting louder and louder and as an example of this, I've been through all this myself. I went through therapy and it took me a long, long time, even being a therapist and even understanding how this stuff works, I couldn't see my own problem. 
because you never can. Even as a therapist, I can't fix my own problems because we are blind to our own problems. A bit of an unpleasant example of that, but you may know how you can't actually smell your own body odour many times. So some people smell and everyone around them is saying, oh, how can they not know they smell? Because you can't smell it yourself because it's yours. So <laughs> sorry about that rather unpleasant example, but it's the same for your problem. You are blind to your problem because you're too much in the problem. It's obvious when you find out, but it doesn't matter how clever you are. I work with many intelligent people. Many people I work with are business owners, international traders, really top people who've got really good, high-powered professional jobs. And when they find out what the cause is, they laugh and they say, I can't believe I've been so stupid. Of course, that's what it is. And I will say what I always say. If you say, well, I don't know what the problem is. I've been back through my life. That's not how you do it. You don't just write out a massive laundry list of all the problems in your life and go through it one by one. That's not how I work. And there's a very effective way you can do it, which can target the problem. And that's why in many cases, I get people a result within one session, which is around one hour in length. Not always, not for everyone. You can't always do that, but it is possible. So you see, if your anxiety is getting worse, please take great comfort from knowing that it's just your mind giving you a stronger message to get help and to fix it. And I know it can be frustrating. I've been through myself. I know exactly what you're going through. I had a problem which was far worse, in my opinion, than driving anxiety. It was affecting my life in many ways. And the funny thing is, just as I recall this video this morning, I'm about to go and do something today, which I could never have done only a week or two ago. And I've actually just had to re-record a bit of this audio because my phone went off, giving me an alert about this thing I'm about to do. So I do know what it's like, and I'm sitting here now with no fear whatsoever. None of the nerves I used to feel. I feel great. I feel happy. And I can't wait to go and do this thing. It's going to be brilliant and I'm going to enjoy it. And it's going to be different than the usual outcome where I'd normally just cancel it and not do it. So you see, I know what you're going through. Your driving anxiety, your fear of whatever it is, it can be a phobia or whatever. When it gets worse, just bear in mind, it's actually getting better because your mind just wants you to get help. And people always leave questions saying, well, how do you fix it? You need to work with a therapist. Yes, you have the answer, but as I said, you need someone who understands how this stuff works and you need them to help you find what it is. Ultimately, it's down to you. You are the only one that can produce this result, not me. So a therapist takes no credit for success and no blame for failure. It really isn't about me at all. It's all about you. And if your anxiety is getting worse, even if you don't reach out to me, even if it's a problem you think I don't deal with or you want to work with someone else, fine. But please reach out to a therapist and don't make the mistake many people make, which is leaving you years and years and years and never getting help. And if you've had therapy before and it didn't work, maybe that just wasn't the right therapist for you. There are many different modalities, different types like NLP, hypnotherapy, psychotherapy, CBT, which I sometimes run down in my videos and say it doesn't work for driving anxiety. It often doesn't work for that, but it can work for other things. Counseling, there's many different options available. Some people even go down a spiritual route or whatever you believe in. If your anxiety is getting worse, please understand it's just your mind wanting to help you because there is no such thing as an evil problem or a bad problem problem. Your mind always wants what's best for you. And although it might seem crazy to be giving you this problem, it's just because you need help and it needs to release something from your past. And I can promise you that once you find what that is and release it, you'll have the same wonderful feeling I have now. Watch these videos on the screen for more help overcoming anxiety. And if you'd like to work with me one-to-one -one online from anywhere in the world, Contact me through my website, firstdrive.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.